we've elected multiple times in the past. It's all a little out there. By the way, the guy whose mailing list I don't ever remember subscribing to and I can't get off of, and I'm quite sure that I could have him, uh, well, not him, but I'm quite sure I could make some sort of legal claim with regard to spamming laws. I don't ever remember signing up for Rand Paul's mailing list, but every time I get a mailer from him, it just makes me think he's more and more of a weirdo. Like, I mean, uh, the uh, the Ron Paul thing, man, I was hopeful for that. But Ron Paul was just too rickety and old and people were just, he didn't seem presidential. He, he seemed like someone that could fall down at any time. And he had great, great ideas. And I think a lot of people had this hope that Rand Paul would be this younger less rickety version of his dad, but he's not. He's just kind of an idiot. I don't know what he is. He's got that weird 80s porn star Jerry Curl hair, and I I really wanted to like him. I really did, because some great ideas. But uh, the Rand Paul thing where he was just like, hey, you know, uh, gay marriage will lead to bestiality. I was like, oh, come on. And, and that thing where he copied his speeches from Wikipedia, I was like, oh, really? Come on. I think the thing that bothered me the most was not the... Uh, copying the speeches from Wikipedia because that's just laziness. That's just not crediting your sources. That's just, you know, laziness. The thing where he was, the thing where he, he claimed that gay marriage would lead to bestiality, that was the part of the Rand Paul thing where it really fell down for me because you don't believe that. You don't believe that. You're a medical doctor. There's no way you could possibly believe that. But, the non-opposable thumb-having idiots that you rely on to make campaign finance donations, they do believe that. So selling out, selling yourself out to that level of hypocrisy for money, if money was a schlong, he would have been on it long and hard. He's like, oh, look, principles. I'll just uh, ditch those in favor of... uh, uh, being able to hob the money knob long and hard. Oh, gay marriage causes bestiality. So that's where it all sorts of fall, falls down for uh, <laughs> Rand Paul for me. Rand Paul also, like, I can't get off his mailing list. It's the weirdest thing. I never signed up for it. Can't get off of it. I've tried unsubscribing myself from it over and over again. Him and Herman Cain. How I ended up on their mailing list is beyond me. How I get off their mailing list is beyond me as well. But. The Rand Paul thing, that bothers me, The uh, only because it's like the less you know, the better you're off with that guy. If you believe in some of his principles and you're determined to vote for him, don't do too much digging. Don't get on his mailing list. I, I think the uh, the part that, well, I mean, there's so many things that smoked it for me with that guy, but the... Uh, The campaign finance emails, the begging for money that I get from him every day, multiple times a day. He calls it the Rand Paul money bomb. I need a Rand Paul money bomb to scare the liberals. This is how his his emails are worded. And it's made it to look it's made to look like he writes them. He uh, copies large sections of his speeches from Wikipedia. So I'm sure it's not him writing them. But nevertheless, I need the panhandling for the Rand Paul money bomb. That's sort of disgusting. And the other thing, that, and maybe, you know what, maybe uh, every single presidential candidate is doing this. Maybe Hillary has like eight to ten emails going out a day begging for money. I don't know. I do know this, though. Rand Paul sure does. And the the thing that really kind of made me go, oh, okay, okay, this is kind of senseless pandering. He had this thing where if you donated to the Rand Paul money bomb, you're automatically entered into <laughs> into a drawing. To win a Rand Paul AR-15, a, an AR-15 with Rand Paul's signature on it, engraved into it. I was like, really? You're raffling off an AR-15 if people are willing to give you money? Not presidential is how I describe that. Now, is Ben Carson presidential? Ben Carson, retired neurosurgeon, turned conservative star. He's going to be uh, seeking the Republican presidential nomination in 2016. Best thing about this guy, he's never run for office. Worst thing about this guy, he's never run for any kind of office. But it looks like he's the only high-profile African-American to uh, be a GOP hopeful. He said, I'm willing to be part of the equation, and therefore I'm announcing my candidacy for president of the United States of America. Now, this is a guy who for 29 years, 
led the pediatric neurosurgery unit of John Hopkins Children's Center in Baltimore. Obviously, bit of a freaking genius. He still lives in Baltimore as well. And uh, I think that might have been part of the reason he pushed his announcement for nomination for president up. Baltimore's clearly embroiled in something. And, well, who looks more brave than someone standing in the middle of, you know, riot ground zero? But he kind of got famous in a neurosurgeon sort of way when he directed the first surgery to separate twins connected at the back of the head. And this made him enough of a hero in the medical field that they made a movie about his life. It's called Gifted Hands. Cuba Gooding Jr. played Carson. He said, and this is uh, ooh, it's tempting, tempting stuff. You know, that whole common sense is, don't vote the party, vote the person. He's clearly going with that because he said, I see myself as a logical American who has common sense. I think that's going to resonate with a lot of Americans, regardless of their political party. Which I think is a great move. It's a great move. Because if there's one thing that's increasingly meaningless in this day and age, it's the political party. Bear in mind that... Uh, you know, it was really hard for uh, a Democrat like Kennedy back in the day to get the black vote because uh, the Democrats were were basically – when you said Democrat in the era that Kennedy was running for president, there was no way you were going to get the black vote because every single member of the KKK was a Democrat. That's how much the meaning of these political parties change and morph over the year. So, you know, he's a GOP hopeful. But saying, regardless of party, I'm a common sensist, clever move. But what is he at his core? Well, clearly very, very intelligent. Clearly a man who accomplished a lot. Came from nothing. To be this unbelievably gifted surgeon at John Hopkins Children's Center in Baltimore. Neurosurgeon. The brain on that guy, impressive. In Baltimore, saying that protests and related vandalism are gross misconduct. The thing that's really going to get in his way, though, the thing that uh, is going to get in his way, social conservative. You can't get an abortion. You can't get married if you're the same sex. He uh, says that's because of his personal faith as a practicing Christian. And there it all falls down. Too bad, so sad. I'm sorry, Ben Carson. It's not going to happen. Have yourself an awesome one. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll do it all over again.